Hello everyone. Welcome to our class of economics. I'm especially to see Let's quickly share our screen and get started. Today we are doing uh, the open economy secular flow model. Uh, we define it as a continuous flow of spending, production and income between different sectors of economy. The secular flow model uh, demonstrates how money moves through society. The flows uh, from producers money flows uh, from producers to workers as wages and flows back to producers as payment for products. The secular flow model of an open economy shows the working workings of an economy that is open to foreign trade. The only thing that makes it different from closed economies is because it includes the foreign sector. Uh, so South Africa is the best example of open economy because we trade with other countries of the world. Uh, let's start with a private household. The uh, household are the primary economic participants uh, because they are the owners of four factors of production. They own land, entrepreneurship, capital and labor. Uh, so household sell factors of production in the factor market to firms. Uh, that is shown by this line. They sell their factors of production to factor market uh, to firms. Uh, 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 as you see. So uh, household, they also receive income from the firms in the form of wages, rent, interest and profit. They receive uh, income in the form of wages, interest, rent and profit. And uh, household uh, are, are the major consumers of goods and services. They use their income to buy goods uh, from goods market. Their income is shown by this line, which is spent to goods market buying goods and services. Then this line here showed them receiving, receiving goods and services. Uh, let's go to firms. Firms purchase the factors of production from the household in the factor market. Firms purchase factors of production from the household in the factor market. They purchase factors of production here. And uh, firms use factors of production to produce goods and services. Businesses uh, sell goods and services to household governments and the foreign sector. So they produce uh, goods and services here, then they make them available in the goods market, which they sell to states, uh, individual private household, that is shown by this line, and the foreign sector. Uh, they, sell, they also sell to for foreign sector, which is denoted by X, which is exports. Uh, and let's go to state. Uh, state, uh, it's referred to local, regional, and national government. The state provided the household and businesses with public goods and services. As you can see, this line showed the state giving public goods and services to business sector and also to private household, public goods and services. And the state received taxes from household. Uh, they received taxes from household, shown by this line, in the form of income tax and they also receive taxes from the businesses which come uh, in the form of company tax. The state uh, uh, spend money in the economy as you can see they spend money on goods and services and also uh, spend money on factor market uh, because state uh, as you know uh, it, it hire people uh, and all uh, public representatives get to be paid by the state. Uh, and let's quickly move to foreign sector. Foreign sector. Foreign sector, uh, there is a flow of goods 
uh, from foreign sector and are paid for by the individual household businesses and public sector. This flow of goods from the foreign sector, is, we call it imports, imports which comes to goods market. Uh, and the, 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 this import can be seen as expenditure by individual uh, household businesses and public sector. Because when it gets here to goods market, uh, household uh, get them from there and the governments and uh, mm, business business sector uh, as you can see there is also a flow of goods and services to the foreign sector uh, from businesses so when goods get here they also they can also be exported to foreign sector and the uh, businesses receive money in a form of payment for export and uh, when we import we pay money as uh, a payment for ex uh, for import uh, that uh, that i believe that i've covered everything on a uh, foreign sector so now let's move to to leakages and injections Leakage is referred to the outflow of money from uh, the economy. So when money exit the circular flow, we call it leakages. But when it uh, enters the, the, the circular flow or join the circular flow, we refer to it as injection. So let's clearly uh, show circular flow so that you can easily see when anything is exiting or joining the circular flow. So from private household, where we started, we said they buy goods, they buy from goods market, which uh, become an income to business sector. Business sector sell or buy uh, factors of production in the factor market, and the, uh, they pay uh, wages, rent, and uh, profit and interest to private uh, household. Uh, that, that that is the circular flow. It's a flow in the form of cycle. Uh, that's how economy operates. So let's uh, quickly get to leakages. So we first start with savings, where which is shown by this uh, dotted line here. Savings. When private household decided not to consume all their income they receive from uh, businesses. Uh, for example, if an, an individual receives 100 rand, then they decide to consume 60 rand and save 40 rand to financial market. Uh, financial market can be banks, insurance companies, and all other financial inst institutions. So that money becomes uh, 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 available here in the financial market. Uh, that is a leakage. The money is going out of the circular flow. And taxation. State taxes uh, private household, that is an income tax, uh, and also taxes business sector, a company tax. We, we referred to those earlier. Those are leakages, savings, taxation, and lastly, payment for export. Payment for export, oh, sorry, man, uh, payments for import. When we import, we buy goods from foreign countries. So that, that money uh, exit our our circular flow, as you can see the line, money go to foreign countries. So when you buy a good from China, you are making that money exit our circular flow. And uh, let's quickly go to injections. Injection, money coming into our circular flow. Uh, first, Injection refer to a inflow of money into economy. So these are examples. Investment. Investment uh, shown by this line, dotted line, uh, to business sector. That money which uh, private household save area, saved earlier, it become an, an, an investment at a later stage to business sector. 
and uh, government uh, uh, spending. So government take taxes, taxes from businesses and private household and spend that money to goods market and spend that money to factor market. That is an injection to our economy. And uh, lastly, payment for export. When we sell goods to foreign countries, that those countries bring money to our secular flow. So that is an injection. Uh, so here we have leakages, which is which is equal to tax plus savings plus uh, imports. And injection is investment plus government spending plus export. Uh, I hope everything is clear. That brings us to an end of today's lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, comment or suggestion, uh, leave it uh, below on, in our comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.